Well, they've been featured on Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, making some of the best Middle Eastern food here in San Diego. Hey, like, what are you doing to me today? <laughs> are you a Kurt? Oh, <laughs> Heather, Heather, no, 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 no. That is, oh, my All favorite. about the shawarma. <laughs> My favorite. So Where good, so good. You? So if you haven't been down to Tahini, it is called Tahini, and if you have not been here, you are missing out. So there's been a few changes. They moved like one store over, but this place is amazing. We're going to talk about some of the secret menu items and make sure that at home, if there's not smell of vision, there's going to be like taste of vision. You're going to like taste the garlic through the screen. So, Moody, you and Usama, basically, this is your spot. Yes. You created it, but first you were doing. Um, like not a food truck, but you were basically going to all these farmers markets and that's where it became popular. Yeah, so we started off at farmer markets um, and then we shortly we started setting up at a gas station in Pacific Beach off of Ingram and uh, honestly it just went so much better than we could have hoped for. We were literally running out of like 100 pounds of chicken, beef within like three, four hours. Um, so it was, it was like such a cool experience and uh, a lot of good feedback. God, it smells so good in here. You walk in and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the naan, the fresh bread going, the shawarma. People are discovering you for reasons that are really funny. Sometimes it's Avengers, right? Because yeah. Robert Downey Jr. had the shawarma. Now everyone's like, I Googled shawarma and you guys came up. Yep. Not only that, your Yelp review is off the charts. It's amazing. You basically are bringing this kind of East Coast street food to us in San Diego because this is like what a taco shop would be like here. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I was born and raised in Jersey and um, kind of like how taco shops are here in San Diego um, is how shawarma is in the East Coast, like New York, New Jersey. And so when I first moved out here, I would complain to my best friend Usama about like the lack of shawarma in San Diego and whatnot. And so he was like, well, you know what? He got sick of me talking all this <laughs> smack and he was like, well, how about we just do it ourselves? And that's kind of when we started the farmer markets and it's just Blessings upon blessings. It's been such a good journey. I love yeah. that. I love that. All right, let's get to Usama over here because um, we put him to work. <laughs> I was like, he, Moody's doing the talking. Usama is like doing all the making. We're going to make the perfect pita. But um, Guy Fieri came out here for um, diners, drive-ins, and dives. And this is basically one of the secret menu items. People, yes. Do people know about this or no? They do now. So we've actually okay. added it to the menu. Okay. Uh, but this is probably our most favorite uh, sandwich that we have on the menu. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the pita bread. We actually make this bread fresh in-house. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the secrets really is... is it all starts with the pita. Can we give a shout out, by the way, to the woman who's here early yes. making the pitas? Dacia because Dacia? Our, yeah, Dacia is our head baker. Oh uh, she is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, her pita bread is, is just always on point, uh, and it's probably the fan favorite. She was the first one that I met when I walked in here, and I was like, ooh, you're already my favorite person making yeah, the carbs. You can smell <laughs> the pita the second you walk oh. in as it's coming out the oven, so it's, so it's something you can't pass up. So good. Okay, what's inside the pita? So we're going to start off with, uh, really with any sandwich, you get your choice of protein, but for this one especially, and on the menu, it's called the Esquire. Uh, we're going to start with the chicken. Okay. So this is our chicken shawarma right here. And it's the Esquire because you created, go, you can go ahead yeah. and make it while we're doing this. You're actually a lawyer as well, so this is yeah. kind of your side hustle. Yeah, so <laughs> I, uh, I actually went to law school, okay. uh, graduated, passed the bar, uh, and decided to get into food. Uh, food has always been a passion okay. of mine. Uh, so this is something that I would eat for lunch on a regular basis, almost daily. So French fries. You're doing like a California burrito except yeah, for shawarma it, style, pita style. Ways, yes, it is okay. definitely a California style shawarma. You often find, even uh, in the Middle East, that they always add fries to the chicken shawarma. Okay. Uh, so that's something just to kind of keep it authentic and original. You stole it from from them with you the, <laughs> the California yeah, burrito. Yeah, you gotta keep it, the, you yeah. know, the original, the way they do it back home sometimes. Okay. Uh, pay homage, right? Yeah. Uh, and then always with the chicken, one of the fan favorites is gonna be the garlic sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a raw garlic sauce, it's completely vegan. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just straight oh. garlic, so we'll put that in there. Wow. Uh, and then to add a nice little touch, Tahini is probably the most well-known sauce uh, mm -hmm. from the cuisine. This is going to be a sriracha tahini. So it is a little bit spicier, adds a nice little kick to it. Yeah. So we get some of that in there. Parsley mix, which is going to be diced parsley, sliced onion, some mac and pomegranate molasses. So yeah. it has a little bit of a sweet touch to it. So uh, Guy came out here. He loved this, huh? Oh, yeah. he ate the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. We have a photo of you guys together. Yes. Super cute. He was out here a little bit ago and just loved this place. Yeah. And um, so how do, what do you top it off with? What's next? Tomatoes and pickles. Okay. Keep it simple with the, with the sandwiches. Okay. I always preach simplicity. Uh, is you, it regular pickles? It is not. It's a pickled cucumber. Uh, oh it is regular pickles. Okay. Uh, Persian cucumbers oftentimes is what they are called that, mm -hmm. that are pickled uh, and it adds a nice 
vinegary pickled taste to the sandwich. Okay. Um, it is a common condiment that is found with shawarma and on shawarma sandwiches. Okay, awesome. That looks yeah. delicious. Wrap that up for us. Um, our TV station's just a little down the road, and I feel like there's a couple of anchors and some people <laughs> working there that I've made just a little bit hungry. There's a rule, though. If you're going to eat the garlic sauce, everyone around you has to eat the garlic sauce. <laughs> <laughs> because it it's is a moment of solidarity. Yeah, it's very strong. It is very good. How do you eat that, by the way? You're gonna like wrap it up because I feel like that's a. It's like one of the giant burritos or a giant burger. You're like, how do I? You just take a giant bite. You just take a giant bite of it. Okay, it looks very messy. Is that okay? We'll have that ready for you. All right, my photographer is gonna be like, wait, the garlic sauce, Heather. You're gonna smell. It's fine. It's worth it. Worth every oh, bite. Oh, Heather. Oh, Sholly, don't you? Oh, girl, I already texted you. Go check your phone. <laughs> Oh. oh, she's going in. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. oh, man. Oh, that's so good. See, you know. This I, is going to be gone. No, this no, is going to no, be not. history. No, 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 no. No, no. What about you, citizen? You're going to share with us. If you're going to eat garlic, <laughs> you're going to come back here and say hello to us, and then he needs to eat it because we're going to sit next to each other. Yeah. Garlic. Oh, my breath <laughs> is already like a dragon. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my gosh. That looks amazing, though. It looks so good. <laughs> so good. I, we need to try it. I'm down. <laughs> I'm like, down. I'm all right. Let's bring it back. Stuff. I got it. Okay, wrap that up. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. We need to try it. It's open at 11. And where you say it's by the hospital over here? I think on Tricky. Claremont, right? Adam? Claremont. Claremont, Mesa, by the hospital. Yep. Let's go.